Childebert I was a Frankish king of the Merovingian dynasty. As third of the four sons of Clovis I who shared the kingdom of the Franks upon their father's death in 511, he was one of the sons of Saint Clotilde, born at Reims. He reigned as king of Paris from 511 to 558 and Orleans from 524 to 558. In the partition of the realm, he received as his share the town of Paris, the country to the north as far as the river Somme, to the west as far as the English Channel, and the Armorican Peninsula. His brothers ruled in different lands, Puderic I in Metz, Claudumer in Orleans, and Clother I in Soissons. In 523, Childebert participated with his brothers in a war against Godemar of Burgundy. Claudumer died in the Battle of Vezirons. Thereafter, concerned that the three sons of Claudumer would inherit the kingdom of Orleans, Clotha conspired with Childebert to oust them. They sent a representative to their mother Clotilde, who as the queen mother had authority as the head of the family line. The representative presented a pair of scissors and a sword, offering her the choice to shear the three young boys thereby depriving them of the long hair considered a symbol of royal power, or to have them killed. She famously replied, It is better for me to see them dead rather than shorn, if they are not raised to the kingship. After the murder of Claudumer's two elder children, the third, Claudualde, escaping to a monastic life, Childebert annexed the cities of Chartres and Orleans. He took part in later various expeditions against the Kingdom of Burgundy. He besieged Autun in 532 and, in 534, having conquered the kingdom along with his brother Clother and Thedric's son Thedabert I, received as his share of the spoils of that kingdom the towns of Macon, Geneva, and Lyons. When Wittiges, the king of the Ostrogoths, ceded Provence to the Franks in 535, the possession of Arles and Marseille was guaranteed to Childebert by his brothers. The annexation of that province was completed, with Clotaire's help, in the winter of 536 to 537. In 531, he received pleas from his sister Crotilda, wife of King Amalaric of the Visigoths. The Arian king of Hispania, Crotilda claimed, was grossly mistreating her, a Catholic. Childebert went down with an army and defeated the Gothic king. Amalaric retreated to Barcelona, where he was assassinated. Crotilda died on her return journey to Paris of unknown causes. Childebert made other expeditions against the Visigoths. In 542, he took possession of Pamplona with the help of his brother Clotaire and besieged Saragotha, but was forced to retreat. From this expedition he brought back to Paris a precious relic, the tunic of Saint Vincent, in honor of which he built at the gates of Paris the famous monastery of Saint Croyer Saint Vincent, known later as Saint Germain des Pierre Acutes. He died on 13 December 558, and was buried in the abbey he had founded, where his tomb has been discovered. Saint Germain des Pierre Acutes became the royal necropolis for the Neustrian kings until 675. He left no sons, only two daughters, Crodoberge and Crodacinda, by his wife Ultragotha. Childebert was an acquisitive monarch. He expanded his domains in more foreign wars than any of his brothers, fighting in Burgundy, Spain, Provence, and elsewhere in Gaul. Gregory of Tours, a contemporary Neustrian, cites Childebert as saying, Vela munquam arvenum lemonum quae tanta joke and detitus gratia refulgira dissiter oculis cerna. Childbert was also one of the more religious of the sons of Clovis, cooperating with his brothers, rescuing his sister, and constructing the famous monastery of St. Vincent to house his relics. Ancestry